Okay, I'm going to check my SWR on my 80 meter Z antenna with my rig expert AA170. To check the SWR, push in number two to enter the frequency. Then you go to your keypad down there, you punch in the frequency like 00385 You hear it go beep. Push number seven. Push the help. There's the SWR. Okay. That's the SWR for that frequency. Now I don't know really how to do this, but if you get a break in your coax, I believe this SWR uh, rig expert antenna analyzer can tell you how many feet from the end of the coax where the break is at. Now let me show you what an 80 meter Z antenna looks like. Okay, if you look up there, down in sunlight, you can see the ballum, they also call them a balloon, above that's the pulley. Now, you get, now here's the pole it's sitting on. My push up's broken half, I can't buy a new one, I don't have the money, I'm a poor guy. So I made a plate like that, to make it 10 feet higher, so if you want, you want to make your push up the pole another 10 feet higher, just make up a little plate like that. Right now, let me show you an 80 meter Z antenna looks like. There's the wire, comes down like this. This is a small yard, that's why I'm doing the 80 meter Z antenna. Okay, comes into a PVC pipe, that's a 12 inch PVC pipe. Drill a hole both ends, feed the wire down, come back down to one side, back over. Over to another PVC pipe, come back down here, tie it off where you're going to tie it to. Now remember this, the higher the frequency, the higher the SWR, the shorter the antenna has to be. The lower the frequency, higher the SWR, the longer the antenna has to be. Anyhow, uh, if you got a break in your coax, you may talk to a guy like KK6FR. He may tell you how to operate one of these things to figure out where the break is in your coax. It can be done. That takes only a little more knowledge than I got. This is a demo of what 80 meters the antenna looks like. And also throwing the rig expert AA170.